This card supports DVI connector and DLSS4 technology as well. Let me introduce you RTX 2060 from six and a half years ago. In fact, this is one of the slowest RTX cards ever released. I wanted to find out how well it performs now in 2025 where we have technologies like DLSS4. For the resolution I'll be only focusing in 1080p because it comes without a saying that in 1440p or 4K 6 gigs or even 8 gigs of VRAM is simply not enough. You heard me Nvidia. In Claire Obscure Expedition 33 running the game with a DLSS quality and medium graphics settings the performance was a positive surprise. I wasn't expecting this game to run this well on a GPU from 2019. Average FPS is 60 which is definitely playable in a game of this type. In Doom Dark Age the average FPS was below 60 which is simply not enough for a fast paced shooter like this one. This GPU is simply showing its age in this game. I wouldn't say that the game is unplayable though but in a busy situation low FPS can sometimes be frustrating. In South of Midnight the game's performance came by a huge surprise considering that the game is running on Unreal Engine 5. The average FPS was 120. Actually it's a very well optimized game apart from the cutscenes where the FPS was 30 all the time. In Call of Duty Black Ops 6 testing this game was a strange experience. In general the game ran well and it was more than playable with an average FPS of 85. The problem was random freezings for a second or two. I'm not sure was it due to low VRAM or was the game itself in a messy state. Either way this GPU is capable to run the latest Call of Duty in 1080p using the LSS quality with a medium graphical settings. Ok after running all these benchmarks I really have to admit that I wasn't expecting this GPU to run this well in a AAA games released in 2025. Considering for example South of Midnight is based on Unreal Engine 5, it's running on 1080p DLSS quality with a medium graphical preset settings and it is running over 100 FPS on average. To me that is simply insane considering that this GPU is turning 7 years old next January. Of course it's not always the case with some other games like for example in Doom the average FPS was sub 60. As a conclusion we can say that the performance definitely depends from game to game. In case you have this kind of GPU laying around and you are considering building some first PC for your kids it is definitely worth testing out can it run the games you have prepared for them. Hopefully this video has been informative to you. My name is Leo and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.